Hey. I've been uh, motivated again. I've been motivated again to make content, and I'm actually excited to do my job. And that's thanks to XO Brooklyn. <laughs> Before we start, I'm going to ask you to ignore a lot of things in this video. Uh, firstly, how pasty I look. It's the winter. I'm white. Secondly, my hair looks a little weird. It's because it's kind of wet because I showered. You're welcome. Secondly. Thirdly, actually, but whatever. The background is kind of messy. Um, it's because I'm still at my dad's house so, and I, and I just, I didn't want to wait to make this video because it's a video I've actually been needing to wait to, to make for like two weeks at this point, I think. All right, let me, let me start over. I made a video talking about my conspiracy theory about EXO Brooklyn's song, Phenomena, My Crown. You can go watch my video. Um, long story short, I was right. Duh. It was all, it was all a bit. She came out with an album that following Friday. Um, and the album ended up being a bunch of funny remixes to her song, My Crown. This, this isn't like a, this video is not a commentary video, right? If you want to hear Brooklyn talk about the process and journey of making this whole giant joke, she actually made a video on it that you can go watch. Um, and fun fact, she saw my video about it and had no issue, which is a good segue for the small group of people that just somehow managed to misinterpret my entire original video on Brooklyn um, and thought that I was like hating on her. I don't know if you're stupid or... I mean, that's got, that's got to be the only option because I'm not in the wrong. Pfft, I've never done anything wrong ever. I thought I made it kind of obvious that I'm a fan of Brooklyn's in the way that I called her a genius in the video title and video. Um, are you playing with a candle? Yeah, there were a few points where there was a, a group of people that misinterpreted what I was saying, uh, particularly at the beginning when I said that I don't understand how Brooklyn has that high of a follower count, even though I immediately explained why I said that in the video, which is the fact that she was immediately called out for two things after that, like, like right after she started to blow up, she started to receive a lot of hate uh, for two, not even controversies, two little things. Um, I don't know if y'all missed that or something, but me saying that I don't understand why she has that high of a following was based off of that thing that I literally said right after, not my own opinions on Brooklyn or her content. Anyway, and the other thing, which I guess is kind of more fair, um, there were some people that thought I was like making fun of her when I was reading out the song lyrics, even though I feel like it was kind of obvious I was making fun of myself because I hate myself. Jesus fuck, enough exposition. What I'm doing in this video is what I wanted to do, uh, what I planned on doing initially, which is reviewing the album, My Crown. Uh, I made a tier list for it, and we're gonna tier list it. I have them all here on my iPad. Okay, so the tier list is called My Crown Songs. Um, I'll probably share it on Twitter or something like I did with my last tier list. I like making tier lists. The first tier is actually a bop. The next one is a bop, but more for the laughs. And the bottom one is personally didn't laugh, but not bad. And that is um, the theme of this entire thing is that none of it's bad because it's all funny. This is all a joke, right? So yeah, I'm literally just, I'm just tier listing. I'm just ranking shit and you're going to watch me do it or, or don't, I don't know. It depends on what you want to do. Um, so we're starting off in just like the random order that tier list put the pictures in, not like the order of the album. So for some reason it put crying in the club as the first one, which is, it, it's just a club remix. <laughs> I'll try to put little snippets of the songs into this video. I still don't know if I'm like allowed to, so I'm gonna like keep them brief just so you get the vibe of the song. Um, this one I'm gonna put a bop, but more for the laughs, because um, basically every song that goes in this category, I enjoyed, 
but not to the extent of when I heard it, I physically laughed out loud. And there are a few on this album that made me do that. So yeah. Next one is My Crown Rich Girl Remix. This has um, Alyssa McKay on it. Call me cringy or I'm not the vibe, but I'm taking money like Bonnie and Clyde. She's that girl on TikTok. She did like the, um, she does little raps and stuff. You might have seen her. She's in this song. This one's also a bop, but more for the laughs. I honestly like Alyssa's work. Like, I think she's talented. I don't know if she writes her own stuff. I kind of, I assume she does, but like maybe has help. I don't know. Uh, but I, I like her stuff. <laughs> Next one is My Crown C4. Bernard. When the sun go down, dreaming of a master plan, the kingdom and protect the land, and big love go hand in hand with hatred when you have some fans. Like, what's the point? Um, this is just a, like, fuck, wait, which one was this? I know it's another remix. Okay, well, if I'm forgetting, then I'm gonna put it in personally didn't laugh, but not bad. Because there are some that are just, like, regular remixes of the song that aren't, like, that don't add anything comedic because the song is obviously it's just naturally comedic um but there are some that are remixes that don't particularly add to that comedy and that was one of them at least for me this is all opinion the next one is freestyling to my crown this is um where just it's a bunch of her friends and they are freestyling to my crown it's a little bit self-explanatory um in this one i'm gonna say personally didn't laugh but not bad and I, I wanted to explain that, but it's, I simply, it's not bad, but I didn't laugh. <laughs> Next is the Spanish remix of My Crown. Um, I'm going to put that as well as personally didn't laugh, but not bad. Uh, the next one is Everybody Wants a Piece. This is the final song on the album, and it is another, like, dancey club type of remix. Everybody, everybody wants a piece. Everybody wants a piece. Um, it's not as good in my opinion, as crying in the club, it, um, kind of just, like, fucks around with that one section of the song, Everybody Wants a Piece, and also, like, POV, you're trying really hard to get my key. what? But it doesn't, like, it's not, like, a full remix, it's just kind of, like, messing around with that, you know? Next is My Crown Jillian's version. If you don't know, there is, um, a girl named Jillian, I'll put her on the screen, uh, like, her at and stuff, who actually wrote, uh, and performed some parts of My Crown, like, she helped Brooklyn with the creative process and did a lot of it, um, and this is just her version of My Crown. My Crown, My Crown, everybody's trying to steal My Crown. And this is actually a bop. And that's all I have to say. I Want to Be on Broadway is a remix in a it's in like a musical like a broadway musical style but more specifically hamilton ever since eliza left me i knew it was time for my bad bitch era i'm buying diamonds buying gold i work for myself might be emotional but i'm better than everyone else and it's a bop but more for the laughs it's so funny <laughs> I think that one is also Jillian's voice as well, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, that one was very funny. Maybe I'm biased because I... Am I about to admit in the good year of 2021 that I really like Hamilton? No. Next is My Crown, just like the OG version. Actually a bop. I did not realize how much I like genuinely enjoyed the song until I was listening to the full album um, to, like, prep for this video, you know, make the tier list maker, and do all that, all that stuff, I, like, didn't realize, I was, like, mouthing the words and shit, and I was, like, it's good, it is good, and I know I said in my original video, I was, like, it's good because it's kind of camp, I don't even think it's camp, I just kind of think it's good, I look scary, <sighs> oh, next one, <laughs> Next one is um, Screaming on the Inside. This is the Screamo rock version of my crown. I'm buying diamonds, buying gold I want for myself. Might be emotional, but I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> I honestly, if I was like ranking this like 1 through 14, because that's how many songs there are, I 
honestly feel like that would get number one because of how fucking funny it is. It it started, and I was like, okay, there's some guitar in this. And then, <laughs> and then it actually started, and I was laying on my floor um, drawing the little, like, pictures for this, for the tier list, and I just started, I fucking busted. I busted laughing. Um, top tier, it's actually a bop. Or is it a bop for the laughs? It's like in between those. I'm going to put it at actually a bop because even though it is a bop for the laughs, it is the best song on the album, in my opinion. <laughs> this one, Dance My Heart Away, is also very, very fucking funny. Um, it's a, like, rave, like, dubstep remix to the song, and it's so funny. <laughs> So that's a bop for the laughs. Next is my inner monologue. This one is also funny. It's just, um, it's like those positive affirmation meditations, you know, where you sit and you're like, I am powerful. It's like that, <laughs> but to the uh, lyrics of my crown. I'm buying diamonds, buying gold. I work for myself. It's gold. It's gold. A bob for the laughs. Next is trying new things. Oh, what was this one? Trying new things. <gasps> trying new things was um Oh, wait, fuck, that might actually be the best song. Fuck, I don't know if it should be Screaming on the Inside or Trying New Things. I'm gonna put Trying New Things as actually a bop because it's another one where it's like, it is for the laughs, but it's so fucking funny that it's like top tier. So yeah, and next is the intro. The intro is not actually a song. It's kind of read as like an ad to buy crowns as a promo for the song, My Crown. Um, this one I'm going to put, personally didn't laugh, but not bad. I thought it was like, whoops, I thought it was goofy, thought it was silly, um, but it, like, it's not like a song, you know? So, that was this video. Um, <laughs> this is a fucking mess, but I honestly don't really care. I kind of just, like, I wanted to record, and I'd already planned, um, before the album even came out, I planned after my original video on Brooklyn to make a video on the album, because I heard it was coming out, and I was like, how far is the bit gonna go? So, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we all did this as a little team, and I, again, like, I'm gonna try to sneak some clips of the songs in. I really hope you can hear them. Yeah, um, this was just, like, a funny little thing of, like, like, I wanted to do this, but I'm also just, like, hey, I'm back, you know? It wasn't a very serious video, but I am going to get back into making videos soon, especially now that I'm going back home, um, and now that I have this newfound light in me. What? Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, um, like the video. If you like the video, comment on the video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the video maker. And I will be back. I'll actually be back. And I'm excited to be back. I really am. I miss you guys. I was, I'm honestly in a flop era right now. I'm trying to break out of it. So if you could boost this video, it'd be kind of cool. Okay, thanks. Bye.